Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel and I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. In particular, the file that we'll be dealing with today is related to pricing of forward contracts written on foreign currency exchange, so um, foreign currency. So, uh, this material, in a way or another, this material appears in almost all levels um, in a different form. However, we will be dealing today with uh, more than just finding the forward rate, we will be dealing with finding the value of a forward contract in, uh, at a, another period in time. So, in particular, this file is related to level 2 candidates and it appears under the derivative section of uh, the level 2. The, the file, it's... Uh, the file that deals with the material is available on the website and it's, the link to it is also available below the video. However, um, just a quick overview. To determine the currency forward rate, so if you are planning to enter into a forward contract and buying or selling currency in the future, and you would like to determine the rate uh, today, today so you would have to determine the date today uh, of uh, the forward rate, so, in order to calculate that, uh, you will have to uh, divide the spot rate by uh, 1 plus the risk free rate for the foreign currency and make sure that the spot rate here is always directly quoted, which means you are dividing the domestic, uh, sorry, you are uh, finding it domestic per a unit of foreign currency. That's how a direct quote um, is. And then you multiply it by 1 plus R, uh, which is the domestic currency, uh, to the power of T. So this is in discrete time, in continuous time it would be the same uh, arrangement except that we will be dealing with exponential instead of uh, 1 plus r to the power of t. And one way to see, one way to look at this formula, I mean there are, if you look at the reading I explained a couple of ways in order to know why this formula is accurate. Uh, one of them is called interest rate parity, which is a common result in uh, international finance and um, it appears that's why it, this is the part that appears in uh, in almost all three levels however uh, another way to think about it is to think about this as uh, the investment in foreign currency as an investment in equity so it's just like how you would go for an equity index or a stock we are instead here buying a foreign currency and we will think about the foreign uh, risk-free rate as the dividend yield. So when we were removing the dividend, the, sorry, the present value of dividend, or when we were um, adjusting over here for the dividend yield, right now what we're going to be doing instead is to adjust for the foreign currency. And that's pretty much it. So all what we are thinking about is that instead of equity, we are investing in um, foreign currency and instead of getting the dividend yield we are receiving the foreign interest rate and that's why this formula now makes sense the value of a currency forward is established over here and it's again it's very similar to um, the uh, investment in equity and you are just simply replacing the dividend yield by the risk free rate for the foreign currency okay so again, if you would like to know all the information about this, just refer to the reading or check the link that's available under the video. For now, let's move to the example. This is a question from, this part is a question that appeared in the daily CFA trivia. The remaining parts are, uh, established, are, are just written for the purpose of illustrating the Excel sheet. So the Canadian dollar is currently traded at 1.4076 Canadian dollar per dollar, uh, per uh, American dollar, while the euro is traded at 0 0.6925. The expected spot rates in a year are 1.4122 Canadian dollar per dollar and 0 0.6955 euro per dollar. If the one-year interest rates are 4% in Canada and 6% in the United States, then the one-year forward for the Canadian dollar, dollar per uh, dollar as it closes to. And you can see over here that there is a bunch of information that's irrelevant and what we care about in particular is um, is uh, the current spot rate, the one year forward rate and both countries and that's it. So all of that other information is quite irrelevant. And then in six months, the Canadian dollar per dollar rate is 1.3952. Find the value of the country for the launch party. So we go over here, and now we're dealing with discrete compounding. So we click on this file, on this sheet, sorry. 
And the current spot rate is 1.4076. The domestic free rate is 4%. The foreign free rate is 6%. And the time of contract expiration is 1 year. That's it. We have 1.3810. So the answer is uh, A. And the time of evaluation is 6 months from now, so 0 0.5. Nothing has changed in the interest rate, so we leave that empty. And the spot price at time T is uh, <clears throat> 1.3952. So we have, this is the value for the long position, and this is the forward price. So that's pretty much it for this example. And if we move to the second example, it has the same exact information except that now we are assuming continuous compounding in both. And we are trying to find the nine month forward instead of the uh, one year forward. Everything else is the same. So we go over here, we enter 1.4076. Domestic free rate, domestic risk free rate was 4%, 6%. Time for contract expiration is 9 over 12, which is 0 0.75. Time for valuation is 0 0.5, spot price at that time 1.352, no, and no, and this is the information we have. So just a quick thing, if we would like to keep it as a one year instead over here, and we'll see that the difference is not really that huge um, between them, uh, because in a way the continuous compounding, if um, there is a difference obviously, but uh, if the time didn't change the difference, we wouldn't expect a huge difference between the both figures. That's pretty much it about the forward pricing on foreign currency. If you have any questions, please email me on my email on the website. And uh, if you would like um, to get notified about the new post, every new post that gets posted, please make sure to follow us on the blog. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, to follow us on our social networks in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.